Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this uh, lesson is Divide Decimals by Whole Numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Hey, if you guys can, would you guys click like uh, on the video? It just helps encourage me to keep making these. Here's our common course strand for our teachers, and our essential question is, how can we use a model to divide decimals by whole numbers? So we're going to use uh, decimal models, we're going to use base 10 models. So here we're going to use uh, decimal models and colored pencils. And, and the problem is uh, Danielle has enough wood to make a small garden with a perimeter of 2.4 meters. She wants the garden to be a square. So what will the length of each side be? So what we're going to do is divide 2.4 divided by 4 because a square has four equal sides. All right, so what we're going to do now is shade the decimal model to show 2.4. So do you remember this represents, this is 100 squares, so 100 uh, hundredths uh, gives us 1. So this is 1. This is 2, and this is 3 right here. So uh, let's uh, slide that up right there. All right, so when we're going to shade, uh, I'm going to shade them into tenths. So I'm going to shade uh, a column down here and a column down here. I'm going to shade this whole thing right here and this whole thing right here. And I'm shading them into tenths because that four is, uh, this says two and four tenths. So here's two holes and then four tenths of the other one shaded right here. Okay, now now we have to uh, uh, need to share our model among four equal groups because it was a square. Okay, so we can't um, uh, we can't uh, share these two holes uh, among the four equal groups. So what we have to do is regroup them. So if we can, we're going to cut these models into tenths. So I'm going to cut this right up this strip right here, and then cut right down this strip, and cut right down this strip. So we get ten uh, tenths strips right here. Same with this, and then we'll get this other four right here. So there they are cut right there, the tenths right there. Okay, and then so now there's how many tenths right now in 2.4? Well, there's there's 10 tenths plus another 10 tenths is 20 tenths plus these four gives us 24 tenths right there. Okay, easy enough. So now we're going to share the, the 24 tenths equally among four groups. Okay, so here's four groups right here, and we're going to share them equally among four groups. So so here we go. i got to put one in each group, and after I put one in each group, then I'm going to put another one in each group until they're all equally uh, divided up. So so there's one in each group. Now I'm going to start and put another one in each group. So they each get two in each group. Okay, you guys with me? And I'm just going to keep going and keep going. I've already done it right here. So there they are. I divided them all up right there. Okay, so there are um, how many ones? How many big squares are in each group? Well, there's zero ones in each group. But there's six tenths in each group right here. Remember, these are counted as tenths right here. A one is the whole square right there. So there's zero ones and six tenths right there. So we'll write that as a decimal as 0 0.6. Okay, so here is zero ones and six tenths right there. Okay, all right. And then so we'll use the model to complete the numbered sentence. 2.4 divided by 4 is uh, 0.6 or 6 tenths right there. Okay, So the length of each side of the garden is going to be 6 tenths of a meter right there. Okay, that's a small garden. All right, so we've got a couple of questions here. So explain why we need to cut apart the model in step C. And then um, number two is explain how our model would be different if the perimeter were 48. All right, let's do one at a time. So why do we need to cut the par apart the model in step C? Well, remember those two holes, we only had two holes, and we had to share them among four groups, and we couldn't. So we had to regroup those two holes into tenths, okay? Here's uh, question number two. How would our model be different if the perimeter were 48? Well, we'd have four holes this time and then uh, eight tenths here's one two three four holes so this hole could go here this hole could go here this hole could go here and this hole could go here but these eight tenths we'd have to cut up into single tenths right here and then share these equally so two here four six eight so so we would uh, not need to cut up the holes only the eight tenths and so 4.8 divided by four is one hole and two tenths, so 1.2 right there, okay? Each one has 1.2. All right, so we can also use base 10 blocks to model division by whole numbers, okay? So let's get some base 10 blocks here. And Thomas has $3.21 to spend equally among three days. So how, can he, how, how much will he spend each day? So here we're dividing 3.21 divided by 3. All right, we're going to use base 10 block box to blocks to show 3.21. Now remember, the flat equals 1, a long equals 1 tenth, and then a small little cube is 1 one hundredth. So we're going to have 
three flats, two tenths, and then a small cube. Okay, three flats, two longs, and a small cube. So here's three flats, two longs, and a small cube. Okay, this represents 3.21 right there. You see that? All right. So there are uh, three ones, two tenths, and one hundredths right there. That's what the, the flat, the long, and the small cube represents. Okay, so now we're going to share the, the ones. Okay, so share an equal number of ones among the three groups. Okay, well that's easy. This can slide down right here. This guy can slide down right here. So these, these ones can be shared among the three groups without regrouping right there. Okay, so there is um, uh, uh, one one shared in each of the groups and nothing left over. There's no more ones left over up here, okay? All right, now what we're going to do is uh, share the tents, okay? So the tents are these. Well, we only have two to share among the, the three groups, so, so the two tents can't be shared among the three groups, so we have to regroup them. Well, we re regroup the tents by replacing them with one hundredths. So if I had some really uh, fine scissors, I can cut this guy and this guy and this guy and cut them up into ten little small cubes like that, okay? So there are um, zero tenths shared. We can't share any of these tenths, and these two tenths are going to be left over, okay? So this is going to be point zero um, something right there after we do that. So there's zero tenths there. We'll come back to this. I'll copy this little picture here in just a little bit. But there's zero tenths being shared. All right, so now we're going to cut this up into uh, um, uh, ten. So there's the, the flat, the first flat. There's the second flat. So there's ten small cubes. Okay, now these little small cubes represent hundreds. So there's ten. Here's twenty. Twenty-one hundreds right there. Okay, so... Uh, there's now 21 hundredths in this picture right here. So we're going to share the hundredths, uh, the 21 hundredths, equally among the three groups. Okay. All right. I'm only going to do a couple of these too. So I'll put put one right here. I'll put uh, one right here. I'll put one right here. And I'll just keep doing this. And just to save time, I've already done this. And so what happens is seven go in each little one. So those represent seven hundredths. Remember, they're not tenths. They're seven hundredths. So there are uh, uh, seven hundredths uh, shared in each group, and we didn't have any left over up here. So there was zero left over right there. Okay, so remember, you guys, what, what we said before, there were zero tenths shared. So there's going to be a zero involved in our answer right here. And there's seven hundredths, so it's going to be point zero seven right there. Okay, all right, so we have one, uh, and we have one hole in each group. We don't have any tenths, so that's going to be point zero. And then we have seven hundredths. So Thomas is going to spend a dollar seven on each day, one point zero seven on each day. All right, you guys, if that does help, I hope you guys click like, and I hope you're having a great year, you guys, and be nice to your math teacher. Take care.